They don't want to have anything to do with mountain bikers. They come ride, and they wreck, and they don't fix, and they leave. They think they own everything. Dylan Tremblay, uh, I think we, uh, we're all a little concerned about that guy. He went, had a hard crash in Whistler, did some physio, got, got stronger, and uh, yeah, he's back. Well, first off, look at that run, and you got to sprint down here. 90, 90 degree corner, sketchy, loose gravel. And you got to pedal uphill through this schnarbly shit. Crap. So then you, you wail off the tree. Super sketch, but that's me. It's awesome being back. Uh, I was able to hook up with uh, Schneffi there and uh, we went and session this bank defense. Uh, actually, Klasen was there too. We hammered through their yard down this rock pathway and then through this nice little shrub, across the street and then up this little path. Dill's the pro, he gets out there, finds uh, something shady and rides the heck out of it. I've seen him do poofs here and poofs there, so I know he's getting back on his game. He's shredding like he always does. I had to say goodbye to Bowen Island. Hopped on a ferry uh, over to Vancouver Island. We took off uh, down to Duncan and uh, found Aaron hitchhiking. My name's Aaron, and I'm taking you to Gwen's Beach in Drunken Duncan to go cliff jumping. Jump it! Some uh, local dirt jumps there are okay, they're uh, a little bit shady. How stupid and crazy. <laughs> My name's Aaron. Welcome to Drop In. I was hitchhiking and I saw them drive down the road. You watch Drop In? R religiously. He just ate it really hard. It was my first ride on my new bike. We went out and checked some, checked some Sadie jumps. They were pretty fun, but you could tell they weren't like super dialed. But it was kind of fun to just uh, get used to my bike on some small jumps instead of taking it to the big ones right away. Never heard of Duncan or Bone Island. Kind of sheltered. Never been to any of these places. I'm a Yank. Not that many local mountain bikers, but for some reason they're really hard workers and they really got a good scene. They don't want to have anything to do with mountain bikers. They don't want mountain bikers at their jumps. They think they own everything. I was kind of bombed. I missed a really cool step up jump over a road. I got uh, quarantined. They thought I had SARS. What's up, buddy? <laughs> Feeling better? better? So I've been here sleeping by this babbling brook all day and it was quite soothing. I think I'm going to be feeling better for ripping the bikes and such tomorrow. Uh, we're gonna go session uh, step up. Um, step up, yeah, oh, that was fun. Yes. Bye, Ryan! Bye, Ryan! Bye! Well, as far as I'm concerned, step ups are probably one of the cooler things you can hit on a bike. Let's go ride bikes. Let's do this. Yep. <laughs> Whoop. It was a perfect setup. It had an awesome run in, perfect lip up uh, over a road and onto a nice landing. Oh, yeah, buddy. Did you hit it any more perfect than that? I'm talking about. <laughs> Got to see Cam bust out just huge no-handers. Yeah. 
Super is busting huge motor whips over it. Getting zesty as he always does. Bus driver number one was trying to get us to leave for forever on this jump, and we just kept on hitting her. We we're like, we ain't leaving. This is too good. For myself, I built a little bank to tree trunk. And uh, shady little setup once again. These jumps, I can't tell you where they are. We're lucky enough to be introduced to them. There's there's mixed uh, controversy. We're like, yeah, maybe we'll we'll let you hit them. So we we're kind of we didn't know what to think of it. We we're like, well, are we allowed to hit them or, or or what? For some reason, they let one of our riders, Cam McCall, jump there that day. When we first showed up and Cam had his big bike with him, the uh, you know the builders of the trails they definitely gave him some warnings. Come back out of here. Mountain biking is generally done in the mountains. Right, right as we showed up there, first time we checked it out, it said no 26-inch bikes. And that sign is referring to my bicycle wheels. They come ride and they wreck and, and they don't they fix leave. and they leave. They don't want to have anything to do with mountain bikers. They don't want mountain bikers at their jumps. Because they're probably trash talking a little bit. They think they own everything. The bike that they have is suited to their environment, and ours is suited to this environment. You know, they're really giving them a hard time, like, don't case our job. We have this, and, and, and we've had a lot of issues where people have come and disrespected our stuff. And he's never come here to help! Hockey fight! McCall was on his brand new uh, Trek, which he wasn't used to yet. Uh, it was his second ride on the bike, and uh, you know it takes time to get used to a bike. Woo! One nut got Left crushed. Right. Left or right? In the chest right. now? Is it up to your chest cavity? No, I checked. It's still down there. He's, he's a really good rider. I'd like to see him ride his bike like that. I haven't witnessed it firsthand, and it's uh, it's good to see. I don't know. He's all right, I guess. Once we got going, it was all mutual respect type of thing. Like we've been, we've been working hard. Like when we put our minds to something, we can create. Like whatever we really feel like it. Some of those BMXers had the most amazing style. Oh, it felt really good. It felt really good to be amongst all the BMXers because they have awesome riding skill, obviously. This filthy speech connects us all together. It's the ripple in the pond effect. Over the north,
to land this line. Hey, you go land there. Dropping. Take him down. I come from words of the summer we got. Since the leaky was the mix with the mystique of Greek gods. The free speech is... Oh, he rules. <laughs> I'm stoked and all these dropping guys, they all have respect. Busted down, truck a rusted real well. Lead us down the road to ruin. Who's in charge? We want to know the people need to be cerebral. Even though we lack a leader's role, we'll take a ladder. We'll trade in your radical past and use the ladder. We'll thought it's a matter of urgent. In the emerging urban war, we're purging versions and giving strong blows to the heads of our foes. Searching for resurgence. We get so much inspiration from other sports, it's good to get respect from the sports that we dip into. Let's see him. See him flip. Hey, practice run. No. I was, I was a bit nervous for him. It was a brand new bike. BMXers were egging him on. You're riding, riding Brad's trails here, man. You gotta do it now. I think it's a lot tougher flipping a mountain bike because it's we'll heavy and long. He'll do it. He'll do it. <laughs> Pretty good. You need to do it better now. Cycling is good stuff. Okay. It gets you pumped. I didn't see the flip. If you do it again, I'll give you a t-shirt. Okay. That was badass though. That was sick too. Man. It kind of sucks to leave this place and leave this perfect trick jump uh, without testing out my bike to the fullest. So I kind of wanted to try a 360 off the jump because it's a perfect situation. The jump is dialed. I was like, it's, it's now or never. I did, a, did my first 360 on the new bike and landed it, so I was more pumped about that than the backflip because 360s are so much more fun. They're just way more tech. Tyler Klassen uh, sadly left us. Well, Tyler ditched us. It's very interesting because uh, Tyler Class and he used to be a flow rider himself, and uh, back in the day he would travel around with Dangerous Dan and uh, put on shows. The two years I rode in the show uh, with the flow riders, it was it was just a great stepping stone, and you know I've kind of evolved from there. It's kind of cool seeing uh, seeing Steve and Mike and, and Dharma, you know, just kind of starting their riding careers out with uh, the Flow crew and kind of doing doing what I used to do. Oh my god, that was Okay, there is the, the steepest, skinniest, it's probably going to be hard for you guys to tell how gnarled that thing was, but it was freaking hard, like the, the hardest, steepest skinny I've ever ridden. I went into her, like, I was just like, I got to ride this thing because it looks cool, but I didn't think I was going to actually ride it, like it, it worked out, it stayed on, it was sketch, but uh, that, that thing was pretty tough. Now, Dharma made it look pretty easy, you know, he got right in the groove and cruised down there one time, but, but full on, like that. That was a pretty badass skinny. And now you're pulling down a finger. You're the one who pulls the string. And their children are still starving. And the flies are still. Burning! It's 
good ride on those boys. <laughs> well, Tyler ditched us. Tyler Klassen uh, sadly left us. He had to go. It was his time. He has better things to do. Yeah, he's dropping out of dropping. We're pretty sad. Yeah. Temporary dropout. He's going to Alaska. Steve needs his partner in crime, right? So he gets a little glum when uh, you know Tyler's not around. I'm a little depressed but about it, actually, to tell you the truth. <laughs> you don't need to go to Alaska. Bye, Tyler. We'll miss you, buddy. <laughs> Good buddies. See you later, Tyler. Yep, buddy. Bye. Bye. You're lazy. Give me a bee attacking me. Oh. You think the bees would be attacking me? I'm the one that's sugar face. I think squirrely, huh? Like squirrely ass teeter on the squirrely ass ski. Sweet. Yeah. Yeah, killer. Yeah. You like he stoke, stoked me up. I broke my ankle like four or five months ago. Got yeah. me ready to go riding again. <laughs> uh, wicked, yeah. Yeah, it was awesome. <laughs> it was like right as it was on TV, it was like you, you were on there. Get your autograph. Oh, yeah, <laughs> for sure, man. Cool. There you go, man. Killer. Sweet. Um, so all in all, Duncan's been great. Uh, we had a great time. Time to jet. Off to Nanaimo. See you in Nanaimo. I think everybody's settling into the bus, getting the swing of things. Yeah, I love turning around on that thing. The bus has just got so much character. It's unbelievable. So yeah, Nanaimo is super awesome, quaint little uh, city, you know, right on the ocean there and uh, it's just, it's, it's beautiful and uh, a lot of good street objects that we found. We weren't sure what we were going to ride. Luckily, uh, Bear Claw took us out to one of the best trails there. I'm gonna go ride uh, bicycles with Darren Bear Claw today, and uh, along with his brother too. Been riding for three years. Darren got me hooked. So this is Mount Benson, and then I'm. It's just getting kind of logged, so it's kind of selective right now with uh, certain stunts we can and can't do. So. I uh. Motorcycle mysteriously broke down last night, so I'm stuck with you guys, I'm afraid. A little warm out.
Not very experienced on the skinnies, but it might be fun. I think squirrely, huh? It's like squirrely ass teeter onto the squirrely ass skinny. It was my first time getting to ride with Darren Bearcloth, so that was a huge thrill. Seen him in tons of movies, and I mean, what can you say? The guy's the best in the game. Hello. Chef just about sprocket jumped it right behind me and I uh, just about did the exact same thing. I think we all need to pick up the zest a little bit. Zesty? Uh, zesty is whatever is gonna zest for a uh, I don't know, what is zesty? Let's try one more time. Oh, dude, we're getting viciously attacked. Hi, guys. Hi, guys. <laughs> Is that a strobe light? They love kokanee in these parts. Nice. Oh, oh, yeah, Cam. Where? Over there. <laughs> 